Hello YouTubers, how's everybody doing? Today I'm on here. Welcome to another round of my benchmarking videos. Uh, this video will be just a little different from the rest of uh, my performance videos uh, in such a way that uh, I'm going to benchmark the Kite demo from Unreal Engine 4. Uh, this is a digital recording as always, let's not forget that. So, uh, what you will see in this video will be pure performance. I'm recording with an external recorder and I'm using my old Core i5-2500 which is overclocked to 4.8 GHz. I'm not sure if you need uh, 4.8 GHz for this benchmark. This is the first time I am uh, running it on this system. I do not have an exact performance indication, so we will see that together. The system has 16 GB of uh, RAM, as you can see here. And uh, the graphics card is my usual GTX 1070 made by KFA2. It is the EX model, latest force were installed, and it is also a little overclocked, so it will be boosting at uh, 2 GHz or thereabout. Uh, so I'm going to use fraps to gather frame data from the demo like I did on my GTX 970 run. Uh, and I will do a comparison with the two of the two runs with flat at the end of the video just out of curiosity to see how uh, the performance differs for these two video cards. It is one of the most beautiful uh, demos out there, if not the most beautiful. Uh, now, before I start anything, I'm going to unlock the frame rate and the, the V-Sync to false. Uh, look what happens when I press enter now. The frame rate goes up, GPU usage at maximum. I'm pressing I'm pressing page up to go to the kite demo itself and once that starts I'm starting the benchmark right away Okay, I'm, end, I'm ending the benchmark. Thank you Unreal Engine for Epic for letting Unreal Engine 4 free. So, uh, the average frame rate was 50 
uh, 8 frames per second very good performance I do not exactly recall uh, how fast the GTX 970 was but we will see that in a minute I have uh, the benchmarking data right here uh, this is the part of the benchmark not very long frame rate is ok the frame times have jump, some jumps here and there that's ok I only want to compare the sheer uh, performance power of the two cards and see what's what CPU usage is not very high uh, the second core seems to be doing most of the work Unreal Engine can be very tricky in terms of CPU usage temps are fine let me hide this so I do not confuse you guys uh, CPU temps are fine RAM usage is extremely high at 5.6 5.7 uh, 7, 7, sorry, 7.6, 7.7 gigabytes, extremely high. The power of the card even reached 100% at some point. I think this is the first time I see that on the GTX 1070, and we are likely to have hit some kind of uh, clock limit or voltage limit. GPU temp is okay, however. Uh, strangely enough the core clock is at 2 GHz throughout the run and we do not have either a voltage li limit or a power limit very interesting video RAM usage jump, jump to 4.8 GB as you can see so the GTX 970 uh, should have a serious problem with uh, this demo it is way above its uh, potential its video ram to be exact and let's see okay the default i don't know what gtx 1070 so uh what no, my friend, my friend, mm, there we are, this is the demo I want, Kai demo, okay, and while I am at it, GTX 970 and the same CPU on the same frequency, once gave me what mm, very nice I don't remember which one of these runs was the 970 so I'm going to go with uh, this one it seems I exited this one before it finished okay uh, yes, so I had 36, 37 frames per second for the 970. I'm getting 58. So we have a significant performance delta of 57%. Uh, this is a normal performance delta from the GTX 970 to the 1070 I'm, go I'm not going to do much of uh, comparison with the variability and the stuttering and all that this is just a demo you can see the numbers however are uh, greatly in favor uh, of the GTX 1070 let me zoom out a little not a problem in the frame times I do not see any spikes and I'm not sure why ok it registered only one millisecond one millisecond not too bad this is the 970 this one had 
a little more uh, spikes but nothing too serious anyhow let's return to the 1070 time spent beyond 16.7 milliseconds is uh, 50% it is 50% I expected less the histogram of the frame times as you can see ah uh, wow I did not see that coming uh, of course the demo does have a lot of uh, different scenes so uh, it is normal to have these kinds of differences in the frame times just out of curiosity let's remember what the 970 was looking like yes and uh, let's go to the frame times I'm not sure why the 970 was a little longer anyhow you can see that the frame times are uh, in favor of uh, the 1070 by quite a lot actually the frame rate is also a lot higher on the 1070 the darker color actually let me uh, make this uh, blue or something so we can distinguish it now it's better uh, the 1070 is uh, quite faster of course no question about that min max and averages don't forget that uh, this uh, demo is custom built by me uh, the default uh, Kai demo did not let you to uh, uncap the frame rate completely it was running at 30 frames per second steadily but I made this version so I can benchmark uh, various systems let's take a look at the percentiles they look quite a lot better on the 1070 time spent beyond curves and lastly the comparable frame rate overlaid with the uh, variability and the stuttering as you can see the variability was uh, higher on the 1070 uh, that is possibly due to the uh, extra capacity for more performance and in the scenes that it could go really higher it did uh, so we have a greater variability in the frame times not too important the important thing is that 1070 is significantly faster than the 970 in this uh, demo so I hope you guys find this video uh, entertaining and informative as always uh, thank you very much for watching and take care